When we talk about someone in a negative way, gossip, you know, running someone down, somebody offends us, we talk trash about them, we, we have some animosity against them, and instead of ignoring it, we speak about it, we tell somebody else, you know, we, we gossip about that person. And they may not have even done it personally to ourselves, we may have just noticed something about them, or even heard something about somebody else from another person. You know, like this juicy story, you know, that gets people worked up and gets people interested in a not-so-blessed way. This can really do a lot of harm to the person that we're, that we, the subject of the gospel is about. But it also does harm to ourselves because the fathers of the church say, speak about this, that gossip, rumors, hearsay, malicious gossip, these kind of things, evil speakings or whatever, nothing drives the grace of God away more quickly than speaking ill of other people. Now, we have to really admit that we're all sinners. You know, like it just says in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So this lets us know that we're all guilty of sin. You know, the, you know, one day, you know, one day we're talking about somebody else and the next day somebody's talking about us. You know, I think it was Bob Marley in one of his songs, I think it was Could You Be Love said that, you know, the chorus it said uh the road is the road of life is rocky and you may stumble too. So why you point your fingers, someone else is judging you. And in the words of Christ, he said, judge not lest ye be judged. And if so, if we don't judge other people, on the day of on the day of judgment, Christ's judgment, the last judgment, God won't judge us because we were obedient to what He wanted. We didn't judge any. We we didn't put our place, we didn't put ourselves in the place of a judge, and we didn't judge our fellow man. We forgave everything. We overlooked everything, realizing that we're sinners, focusing on our own sins, and if we do that, then we won't be judged. By the judge, the judge of judges, king of kings, lord of lords. So really, uh, our salvation and our whole well-being really depends upon our own our own personal choices. So you know, on the day of judgment, on the last day, uh, we won't have a leg to stand on as far as blaming someone else or even blaming God for that matter, because of all the chances that He gives us. You know, and if, you know, maybe that's why certain you know, certain people like dictators, or whatever they may live to be, such a have live to be a long, live a long time, live a long life. You're like, why is God allowing these evil men or whatever to live such a long time? And it seems like they don't get a, they get away with murder, literally. Well, I think the reason that that is is because God loves us all, and He's looking for an opportunity to save us all, even the dictators, even. Someone like Fidel Castro, or whatever, and that he's given these these people and all of us time to repent, opp opportunities uh, to change our ways, time and time again. Uh, if we live to be even a hundred years old, God is still trying to find a way to save us. And eventually, if after we use up all those chances, then it's you know game over. And when we stand in before judgment. Before God, before Christ, there's, we won't have a leg to stand on. We won't have any alibi. We won't have any uh, case for our sins because everything will be be laid laid bare. That X, Y, and Z these time or A through Z, you should say, that I tried to save you. That I gave you this opportunity. And the same goes with judging. You know, we shouldn't judge others because. You know, as far as losing our soul and and the you know when Christ gives us all these times to repent, but by 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 malicious gossip, you know, we dri it drives away the grace of God. You know, so then we become godless. So then, we're subject to ridicule by the demons. We become the laughing stock of the demons. They're gossiping about us. They're making fun of us. You know, so really we should learn to love each other. You know, really, and there's two there's two choices that we can have make in life. We can either look for the good in others, or we can look for the bad. 
Now, we all have good and evil within us, some to a greater extent, some to a lesser extent. So if we look for the, if we, instead of looking for the, the evil in someone, if we try to look for the good in another person and bring that good out, then I think that would attract the grace of God. You know, it's the opposite. And the opposite is if we look for the evil in someone, that that uh, repels the grace of God. The grace of God departs from us. But if we look for the good in others, pray for others, love others, then the grace of God is attracted. And we become filled with, with grace, filled with the Holy Spirit. And if somebody's, if somebody's gen- genuinely filled with the Holy Spirit, they're not going to be gossiping. You know, a, a genuine grace-filled, spirit-filled person is not a gossip. You know, that's 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 just that's just incompatible. Being being a gossiper or a trash talker, or whatever you want to call it, is is foreign to a grace-filled person. A grace-filled person doesn't do these things. A graceful person doesn't speak evil of their neighbor, you know. And it's kind of ironic because we we put our when we judge someone or we gossip or we s- spread a rumor, it's almost like we're putting our place, putting ourselves in a more holy place than the than the person that we're as the object of that gossip. So basically, we're putting ourselves on a higher ground and putting the person, other person, the subject of the person of gossip on the lower ground. And really, you know, maybe the reason why we do that is because maybe it takes the heat off of us for a second. You know, we don't have to focus on our own shortcomings. We can just focus on the shortcomings of someone else. And then, you know, we, you know, really it's it's, it's a trick. Of the, and the devil is laughing. The devil is laughing. You know, but if we take responsibility for our own sins, our own, our own uh, shortcomings, I think we'd have plenty to gossip about. <laughs> You know, because we're all sinners. We all, we all have, even even grace-filled people have certain types of sins. You know, that's why the fathers say that, you know, li- repentance should be lifelong because, you know, the Bible says there's not a man who lives and sinneth not. So as long as we're in this fleshly body and this side of, on this side of eternity, there's always going to be something for us to repent for. There's always going to be um, room for improvement no matter how righteous we become or holy, or whatever you want to call it, how how much grace-filled we become, there's always going to be room for improvement in this life. So if somebody, so really what's really upsetting is that if, say, somebody's on the path to salvation, and they're trying to walk that straight and narrow, and say along the way on their journey they, they slip up and they fall, and somebody notices that, and then they start to gossip about that person, oh, did you see what so-and-so did? It's like, Look, that person was on the path. They just had a little bit of a fall. It's like, and the people that the people that are gossiping about that person who fell, they might not even be on the path themselves. You know, it's kind of like you know the like the magazine, the National Enquirer. I mean, that is just horrible. All the things that they say, and then the people that read that magazine, are you? Do you think they're blessed? Not to gossip about them, but I mean. That's not a grace-filled um, publication, you know, where you just run down somebody. Not just one person, but several people. And people eat it up, unfortunately. It is unfortunate that people would eat up this this trash. You know, and if you talk trash, you, you, know, you are what you eat. You, be, you become trashy yourself. And you and we open up ourselves again. If we more we gossip, we 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 uh, deflect the grace of God. And what's the opposite of the grace of God? Demonic things, demonic energy. When the grace, when the energies of God are repelled from us, the energies of the evil one come towards us. So how is that? So why would anybody want to do that? You know. So I really think that it's best that. When when we get that temptation to judge someone, we should overlook it. We should not say, you know, God forgive me, I shouldn't judge. Because we're all guilty of the same sins. We're all humans. All humans have the same sins. You know, there's some people, now granted there are some people that are more sinful than others, but still, 
We shouldn't put ourselves in that moral position that we should look down on anyone, no matter what they've done. You know? So it would be to our best interest if we look for the good in others instead of looking for the for the for the evil because if we really wanted to we could find the good and evil on everybody you know we can find but again to the pure all things are pure you know and that's a sign that if that we are on the right track that we're in good standing if we don't speak evil of other people you know, and the tongue can be a dangerous thing. You know, I think James in the New Testament, St. James in the book of James, talks about how the tongue is the most most dangerous weapon. You know? You know, that's, you know the, the Bible says, you know, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill. But we can kill somebody with our words. You know, we, we might think, I mean, it's really a trap because we think, well, you know, I'm not a murderer, I never killed anybody. Yeah, but how many times did you condemn somebody verbally? You know, or I sh you know, all of us. How many times have we done that? You know, so that's that's a that's a sign that we are guilty of murder by by speaking evil of someone. You know, spiritually speaking. You know, and look how many people's lives have been ruined by slander. You know, things that weren't true. You know, rumors. You know, I mean, why, we should never really believe rumors. Because there's no, if there's no way to prove it, that we sh if we hear it, you know, St. Moses the Black, he was famous for saying, when somebody slanders somebody else to you, don't believe the slander, don't spread the slander, and then don't get angry of the person who's slandering. So don't judge the person who's, who's judging someone else, basically. So this is, this is a really, this is a dangerous, this is a very easy way for the devil uh, to get a foothold on us. Because it seems somewhat innocent, or it seems somewhat okay, but it's it's really it's really dangerous. So, in the final analysis, if we don't want people, if we don't like it, if we fear, or we just would not like it if somebody was spreading gossip about us, you know, running our name down, slandering us, saying, saying spreading rumors that aren't true. I mean, how much that would hurt us, and we would be we would be hurt by that, especially if we found somebody that we thought was our friend doing that. I mean, that can this causes so many problems, so much destruction, uh, slander, gossip, hearsay, malicious gossip. This is evil speakings, causes so much damage, so much damage to all people involved, not just the not just the victim of slander, but the people that are spreading it. They're not going to be blessed either. You know, so we have to, let's try to learn. So we have to really learn to love each other and uh, and not believe and not, don't believe these rumors, you know, don't and don't spread rumors, especially if we can't, if you don't have proof. Even if it was true, we shouldn't spread it or press, pass judgment, you know. I know it's easier said than done. Believe me, it's a difficult, especially if it becomes a passion, if it becomes a habit. It's a hard habit to break is, is gossip. But you know, there's rewards for for all things in life that we that we strive for in the spiritual life, you know, and God is ready to give us those blessings. But if we continue to sin, then the grace of God will be repelled. He's still looking for a way to save us, but it's going to be a little bit difficult for us and it's us like we said before, it's it's, it's we it's we're the ones that are to blame. So let's all try to, I think the solution to gossip and rumors and hearsay, again, is to look for the good in others, you know? Instead of spreading something evil about someone, talking trash about someone, let's compliment someone, you know, instead of speaking about someone behind their back, speaking evil behind their back, behind their back, we should say, so, so, try to find, say good things about people, you know? And bring that out. And if we bring out the good in others, we bring out the good in ourselves. And, tra and verse, transversely, if we uh, if all we do is dig up the dirt on others, all we're doing is dirtying our own soul. You know. And again, the devil's laughing. And when we die, 
and we have no other other choice. We have no other uh, choice but to face our own sins. And then there's going to be no way for us to get out of this situation. So it's best that we take care of these sins in this life while there's still time for repentance and change and God's mercy and salvation because when the tape runs out for our own life in this world, then there's nothing else that we can that can be done. The only way we can be helped is by the prayers of our friends and family here and on this side of eternity that can help us in the afterlife. So let's try to make a good start now. Let's try to live a good life now so that we can have a better future in the hereafter. And not even in the hereafter, even in this life, you know. Let's have more it's more blessed this by by speak by speaking blessings we become blessed. And the more blessed our life is in this life, then the less inclined we are to speak ill of other people in this life. So not to be a preacher, not to be preachy, but just to just to explain how dangerous this gossip can be. This malicious, these these uh, backbiting habits can be. It it just it just demonstrates how important it is uh, for us to resist the temptation to gossip and spread rumors because we could be destroying somebody's life, you know, and ultimately we destroy our own life by doing by by do, destroying another life. So anyway. I just want to let, these are just some thoughts I had, and I uh, want to encourage all of us, and myself included, uh, that the next, the next, when we're tempted to gossip, or we tempted to judge, or we hear some rumor, it's best not to believe the rumor, don't spread the rumor, and don't get angry at the person who's, 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 who's spreading that rumor, who's saying that rumor. So anyway... Let's all let's all attract the grace of God by doing the right thing, struggling against sin, and working towards our salvation, which is the meaning of life, you know. And let's keep up our repentance because without repentance, there's no salvation. So let's um, take the free gift of of eternal life that Christ has given us, and that He came on earth to show us how to live. You know, the Christ, the way that Christ lived, is a blueprint for how we should live. You know, Christ didn't gossip. Christ didn't, and he was perfect. I mean, there you go. I mean, Christ was sinless. He had no sin, yet he didn't judge anybody else. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't spread gossip. You know, he didn't speak evil of people. If he had something to say to somebody, he would say it to their face. You know? So anyway, let's strive to be good people, better people every day, and... The last thing I would like to I would just like to end this is that if we get tempted the next time we get tempted to to judge someone or to 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 speak evil of someone let's stop for a moment look at our look within and see our own faults and then say you know what I am I'm in no place to judge and then instead of bringing out the evil in that other person try to look for the good in other that other person and then who knows we might gain a, we might get a friend instead of an enemy you know so that's that's a blessed thing to do so anyway these are just some thoughts and we'll see you in the next video god bless